OK, it's finally arrived. General Election Day has been announced. The Prime Minister has been to Buckingham Palace this morning to ask for a May the 6th poll. And it seems this election could be like no other, with new campaign techniques such as internet canvassing and televised debates, hoping to engage voters as never before. So are we set to engage in the election now? It's finally upon us, Sherry. I think we have a duty to engage in the election. I mean, the whole world has been through the worst economic downturn in history probably that we all know we should all be worried about it we should all think about it we should all go out and do our bit and it's no good thinking well oh it won't matter i it not matter what i do it does count you do count and you know it's only your fault if you don't vote it's your fault who goes in next and we should all get out there and do our bit have, I mean, have you always felt this way Sherry? Uh, no not in the past but as you get older you do kind of care you've got kids i've got grandchildren you know what i mean Whatever you care about, whether it's crime on the streets, which I'm terrified for, for my mum, you know, for everybody, I'm terrified that that's got worse and worse and worse. The NHS, look at the NHS. You mm. know, I mean, schools. If you care, you should go out and... I think it's fantastic we're going to have live debates. Mm -hmm. Listen to what they're saying. Listen, you know, all right, I don't understand everything. I don't understand all the policies. But the only thing is, you can try. And let's you do what we want. But also, country. Sherry, can I just... Sorry, Denise, can yes. I just interrupt? I mean, you touched there on the, on the live debates. The important thing about them is that you can listen to all the different Absolutely. policies that are going to be put out and choose the one that you think is right for you. You've, you've always said you find it a bit too confusing. Yeah, do you think the debates will help? Really, and, I, and, I, and I do admit to having been completely ignorant. And it's a bit like my financial phobia, you know, my sort of, you know, fear of addressing my financial situation because I'm scared of it all. And I've been a bit like that with politics, so I've chosen to sort of ignore it and put my head in the sand about it and go, oh, politics, it's not for me, I won't talk about that, but that, you know. And, and it, it's, it's ridiculous. And I do exactly, I really do agree with you that we, that we do, that we do have, a, have a duty. I just wish that we could have it explained more in layman's terms, do you know what I mean? And I just wish that there would be sort of almost like A, B and C of lists of policies because I just get very confused. I get very confused with all the banter. I wish that they'd just stop heckling each other and shouting each other down. And, you know, it just sounds so... When you watch those House of Commons things, you just think, these are the people who are running the country yeah. generally. And I just want them to sometimes say nice things about each other. Mm. No, I do, because they, they spend their whole time slagging the other parties yeah, off, do. rather than it's sometimes fine, saying, yeah. we're going to do this. I do kind of get what they're going to do, and maybe we could incorporate that. I would have more respect for them. And also, the spin thing in this country just annoys me, because it really doesn't matter to me that, that a certain politician who's known for wearing a suit suddenly casually is wearing just a pink open neck shirt. It's like, so that's not going to make me I vote disagree. for him. I disagree. I mean, I, I was so, I've never been into politics, really, and I'm, I'm pretty much the same as you. I was always a little bit frightened, buried my head in the sand, you know. Um, uh, but I got totally gripped by the American election with Obama, and there was a lot of spin there. A yeah, lot of he's fit. Yeah, but there was razzmatazz. <laughs> <laughs> There was a lot of razzmatazz, a lot of spin, and it engaged me. Mm. And I'm with you, Sherry. I think with the economic downturn this year, I've decided, you know, I need to start listening. I need to vote. I'm very interested in the areas of taxation, which has affected me personally. But in terms of the razzmatazz, I mean, you, you mentioned the American thing there. I, I was in America during the Bush-Gore election when the results were coming through. Um, so I was there for a few weeks. So I managed to see some of the build-up to mm. it. And yes, OK, it's more shiny and they use more ticker tape. But you've never seen backstabbing like. It. Their, their campaigns are all about doing the other party down. So although I think it will be um, refreshing you know, to have live debates and to be able to try and piece together mm. your, your own ideas as to what you think each the party stands for, the backstabbing what that your they parents compete. did. And I think that, 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 that there's some areas, and some yeah, members of my family are guilty of thinking, well, I couldn't possibly vote that because it would be betraying my class. I think that we should get rid of all That's that. We point. should actually just yeah. and look at and, yeah, and let's start again. Because all the parties have evolved in different ways, haven't they? Yeah. Okay, after the